Expressing yourself in virtual reality. It's something a ton of people around the world would want to be doing, whether it's through face and eye tracking or full body tracking. However, these things are not available to the larger majority, which is really surprising, considering that this is what boosts the immersion in virtual reality greatly. And even when they are available, they're available through methods that don't exactly make it easier, but sometimes even make it harder. So what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get wireless face tracking on your Quest 2 and probably also Pico 4, giving you a super simple no wire solution in case you want face tracking in virtual reality. Let's jump right in. So first things first, there are a few things you will obviously need for this video. The Quest 2 and Pico 4 don't have cameras at the bottom to track your lips, unlike something like the Quest Pro. So what you will require is some sort of facial tracker. And the reason I'm saying some sort of facial tracker is because this method will actually work on anything that plugs in through USB, which is absolutely amazing. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Vive facial tracker, which comes in at $129. So it's actually not breaking the bang. To mount it to the Quest 2, I will also be using my 3D printed which I still have from back in the day. However, a ton more people have now created upgraded models of these mounts that you can download on websites like Thingiverse. Next, what you will require is a computer, as none of these methods yet work using standalone devices. So this will only work on PC VR games, but I'm sure that's not a surprise to many, with things like Neos and VRChat. You will also need developer mode enabled on your Quest, as we will be installing unofficial apps in order to make this possible. So with all that being said, let me show you exactly how to get this done. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need in order to make this work is the software for your tracker. So in case you're following along with me, that's going to be the Vive facial tracker software. And you can find this by going to vive.com forward slash setup forward slash facial dash tracker. And this will download the file that you need directly to your computer. So then we can just go ahead and install the file as we normally would and just keep clicking next, next, next. And this will install the Vive facial tracker software onto our PC. Next thing that you are going to need is the virtual here client on your computer. And you can download this right off their website. And I'm going to download the 64 bit version as I'm on a 64 bit version of Windows. And I assume most of you guys probably are as well. And this is just a a portable exe it's not even something you need to install you just click on it and it should just launch and i'm just going to press run and there we go i already have one cloud hub running as this is for my printer so we're just going to ignore this part and we're just going to close out of this for now then what you are going to require is the apk file for the virtual here server for your quest and we're going to download it off of something like apk pure and we're going to click download apk and this is going to download the apk that we are going to install onto our quest next thing that you will require is your quest with developer mode enabled so now we're going to power up the quest and connect it to our computer via a usb type c cable now virtual here is a free software but only as a trial run which means you get three connections for free and then after this you will need to pay 25 dollars permanently if you like the software if it does what you want it to do you pay that 25 dollars and that's it you never have to pay it again no monthly subscription or anything like that then directly there on apk pure we can also download activity launcher this will be necessary in order to grant the correct permissions to the virtual here server app so we're going to download the activity launcher apk as well and now that we've got both of these APKs, we can turn on SideQuest. In case you don't have SideQuest yet, I will leave a link for it down in the description below. You just have to download SideQuest off of their website and install it onto your computer. Or if you have followed my video right up here on how to install APKs directly from your Quest, you can just install these APKs directly from your Quest. But what we're going to do now is we're going to press this button right up here in SideQuest after we have confirmed that our Quest 2 is appearing inside the SideQuest app. And then we are going to find the two apps that we have just downloaded. So activity launcher and then also virtual here USB server. So all tasks completed, which means those two apps are now on our quest. We can now jump into our quest, go into unknown sources and launch virtual here once just to grant it the permissions that it first asks for. After we have that done, we can close out of virtual here and then we can jump into activity launcher. Inside activity launcher, let all the files load in, then press on the search icon up in the top right and search for settings. Then find the Android settings app and scroll down until you find the settings activity. This will launch the settings app on your quest. Once you have launched the settings app on your quest, head over to apps, head over to see all apps, 
and click on virtual here. You will then want to click on permissions and grant it all the necessary permissions. The most important one here being the camera permission, as if you don't grant it the permission to use the camera, it will not be able to share the cameras from the Vive facial tracker to your computer. So this is very, very important. Okay, so once you've granted all the necessary permissions through the settings app, it's all downhill from here. Now you just want to take your HTC Vive tracker and plug it directly into your Quest. That's how simple this is. We're going to be using the original USB Type-C interface from the Quest to get everything working wirelessly. No additional dongles, no additional adapters, nothing like that. Then you will get a dialogue asking you if you want Virtual Here to always be opened when the HTC multimedia camera is connected. What you want to do is press always and then press allow. From here, you want to unplug the camera and plug it back in. It's just something you need to do for a refresh and launch the Virtual Here server app on your Quest. Then you want to launch the Virtual Here client on your computer. You should see that you now have an Android Hub device connected to your computer. And underneath that Android Hub, you will see HTC Multimedia Camera. What you want to do is you want to right click on that and click use this device. This will now connect the HTC Vive lip tracking camera from your Quest to your computer completely wirelessly. And that still blows my mind that you can have wireless USB nowadays. Now what you want to do is on your computer, you want to launch the Vive face tracking software. That face tracking software will then move to the system tray. So you want to go to the bottom right of your computer, right click on it and click on about. Inside about, if you see lip camera version, you know you have been successful. Your lip tracking camera is now wirelessly connected to your computer. So let's jump into a game and try it out. Okay, so now I'm going to launch Virtual Desktop on my Quest and the camera should stay connected in the background, or at least this is what it did before the Android 12 update. And it is, as a matter of fact, still connected. So this is all going super successfully right now. Now, the camera does need to be positioned roughly something like this. It needs to be pointing at your lips in order to, you know, be able to actually recognize your lips. A facial tracker accessory has been detected on your HMD. This may allow apps to access images of your partial facial expression. That's perfect. Okay, so I am now just a floating head. I need avatars, face tracking ready, and equip this guy. <laughs> it works. <laughs> It's so accurate. Can you see me moving my jaw? That's incredible. That is actually properly incredible. Okay, no, no, no. Well, I mean, what, what more is there to say? That's, that's it. Face tracking works completely wirelessly on the Quest, and dependent on how good your delay is here, you're going to have an absolutely incredible time. So, there you guys go. A super simple, no wires solution on getting wireless facial tracking working on your Quest. And yeah, over the last few years, this has become a little bit more complicated. However, it's not a whole ton more complicated to the point where a lot of people won't want to do it. I'm sure if you have a facial tracker and a Quest 2, this is something you'd probably be interested in so that you don't have to be running more wires around your room. I personally am a massive fan of wireless virtual reality. And when I got my facial tracker, I was very determined to find a way to make it wireless so that I wouldn't need to run a wire for that when my headset itself is wireless. It gives me complete and utter freedom. Why would I want to lose that? And thankfully, we managed to find that solution. What's fantastic about the solution is that any accessory you want to be using over USB, you can actually use with this method. Virtual here, the server that we're using, can actually send any USB device that you plug into your Quest wirelessly over to your computer. Meaning if you want to plug in a USB mouse and keyboard to your Quest and send that signal wirelessly over to your PC, you can. 
if for whatever reason you wanted to do that. This also works with something like a USB microphone. You can also send that wirelessly over to your computer, but have the microphone mounted to your Quest in a no wired solution. You can also use something like a USB hub to plug more than one thing into your Quest, and if your hub has Type-C pass-through, you can even continue using the Elite head strap. Solutions nowadays are very, very vast, and I'm super happy to be able to bring these to you guys. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord, check out our Reddit down below, and if you have any issues making this method work, you can at me on the Discord down below. I also want to give a massive shout out to the lovely names going off to my right right now. Those guys are my Patreons, they are helping me out so much right now, so seriously guys, thank you. And as usual, if you want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.